Hi guys, this is Result No F. I don't know if I mentioned, sorry I forgot to, but I do not make, I do not uh, record videos on Saturday or Sunday. I think I, it's every, it's every weekday, Monday to Friday. So sorry if I didn't get that out to you. But we're keeping on with our series, and I think it's episode four, and we're gonna be talking about someone that's, someone that's great in the red zone. Short, but short, but speedy. His he's on the Falcons. His name's Russell Gage. Everyone's talking about how great Julio and Ridley is, and don't get me wrong, I I I love me some Calvin Ridley, but I I I love me some Cal Russell Gage the same amount because Russell Gage uh he he and the thing is he's more on the shorter side, but I like short receivers because the cornerbacks kind of get lost, and that's kind of what I saw when on Russell Gage's film because like uh he he, he has per maybe just uh he he's pretty decent on the hands. He's ba he's all he's a well rounded receiver, let me just say that. He's not perfect one thing about another. He's well rounded. I just think everyone's talking about Julio and Calvin Ridley. No one's talking about Gage. When Julio was not playing and when Ridley was out for like one or two games, Russell Gage possessed that he could be a good receiver if he gets the chance. So people aren't talking about him at all, and I don't appreciate that. Russell Gage is uh, uh he, he's very underrated. I feel like Russell Gage needs to get more respect, and he could run a few jet sweeps to put a game. I think he's kind of like, kind of like a Kurt Samuel, but not as athletic. I would say, but but uh. Uh, y yeah, so I think Russell Gage is going to be the most underrated player on the Falcons. Bye.